Beautiful namaste, yogis. Welcome to our practice today from Northern Nevada, Gardnerville, Nevada. Moving in a, a new to me home after a long winter tour. So uh, it's been uh, quite a bit of moving around and to meet that, because sometimes we can get great healing with meeting fire with fire. Like, like matching the energy that, that is in our midst, accepting what is. So let's do that, all right? I found myself a spot here. Hopefully this is gonna be my yoga studio. It's pretty funny though, because David wants it for his recording studio, so we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna juice it up with a little yoga. Find yourself in a comfortable seat, please. Turn the palms to face up, slide the elbows back so you feel them on the back body. Lift the heart, spread the collarbones front and back, lift the gaze up. Ah, yeah, that sunshine feels amazing. Big breath in, big breath out. Do that again, big breath in. Exhale, big breath out. My eyes are closed. I suggest you do the same one more time. Breathe in. Exhale out everything. Let your mouth open and come out. Eyes open, arms reach up and over your head. Let your hands find prayer. Bend your elbows, lift the elbows up, draw the fingertips back. You might lift the heart up and gaze back and look up a little bit, a little bit in the back bend here, pressing down through the sit bones, down through the knees, down through the edges of the feet. Breathe in, breathe out. And just that little bitty heart opener can be excellent. Come back up to center, draw the hands down. Let the knuckles of the thumbs meet the Ajna Chakra, that spot right between the eyes, and give it a little circular motion in one way. Third eye massage, <laughs> seat of our intuition and wisdom. Circle it in the other way. Yes, and then slide the hands down to the heart center. Let's do some heart door knocking. Tap, tap, tap. A few taps right on the heart center. Tap, 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 tap. Good, and then come to stillness. Hands at the heart. Shoulders back and down. Elbows reaching down. Heart lifted up. Sit bones down. Knees down. Feet are grounded and feel the sit bones right and left, nice and centered. Spine is long. Yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Eight. Let's keep moving. Inhale, arms up and over your head. Right hand down to the right. Lean it over to the right. Back up to center, right hand up, left hand down, lean it over to the left, keeping that right sit bone grounded, yes, come back up, both hands up, hands halfway, in alignment with the heart, roll the shoulders forward, bend your elbows, interlace the hands back behind you, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the heart, begin to straighten out through the arms, again, lift the heart, lift the gaze, and enliven your breath. breaths or so. Great. And we have a little bit more breathing room. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands float all the way down along your sides. And then roll back, release the legs. Give them a little shake, 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 shake. Swing the legs around. Come to hands and knees, all fours. Let's release the knees, 
Right toes reach back and a little rock and roll. Oh. This can feel really nice in the backs of the knees. For me, it feels really nice in my right kidney. Little breathing room in the low back and then the kidney. Kidneys rumored to hold our fear. All right, right knee in, left leg back. Little rock and roll. Sort of elegant like a deer. I have deer on my property. They ate all my flowers. <laughs> Rookie mistake, I guess. <laughs> all right. Left knee down. We're back up to all fours. Now tuck your toes under. Draw the hips back down to the heels. Let's stretch the soles of the feet. Keep the hip bones down. Lift the heart. Reach the arms up and over the head once again. On your exhale, come on down. Back to all fours. And this time, pivot the right Chin out to the right, extend out through the left leg, spin the left foot flat to the floor. Reach the heart forward, long spine, tailbone dropping, inhale, lift the heart, open it to the left, breathe the left arm up and over your head, stretch it, it either up to the sky, that can feel very nice, or reach the arms up and over your head. Big side plank situation. And if you'd like to meet some fire with fire, you can come to side plank by lifting the right knee and straightening the right leg. I like to cross it over to my left. Breathe in, breathe out. On your exhale, you'll come back down to all fours. You'll lift the left leg, left leg out to the left. Inhale, come all the way up. Slide the hand down the left leg, side bend to the left. Bring it back to center. Drop both hands down, retuck just the right toes, and then sit your hip back down to your heel. Nice inner thigh stretch. You'll really reach out through that outer left heel, outer edge of that left foot, lift and spread the toes. You might walk the hands forward, tenting the fingers, reach the heart forward, draw the tailbone back, and then bow down with the... Good. Come on, back up. You'll walk the hands underneath the shoulder. You'll untuck the right toes. Inhale, twist again. Left hand up to the left. On the exhale, you'll thread the left hand underneath the right. Come on down to this extended floor twist. Lifting and twisting the heart up towards the sky on the right hand side. Tailbone long, spine long, even though it's nice and twisted. Press down through your right shin a little bit. And reach the left thigh bone back. A little bit of navel to the spine. A little bit of sacrum in. Yes. Good. Let's come on back up. Rewind, open, and drop it back down. Left knee comes in. A little bit of cat and cow. Heart lifts, tailbone lifts. Exhale and round. Inhale, let's arch. Exhale, let's curl. You can stay with this a few more times, just getting a nice extension on the front and the back of the spine. If you'd like to turbocharge it, as you round, you'll press through the tops of the feet and lift your knees. And then we'll drop the knees down, roll the shoulders back and down. Let the heart lift. Exhale, round, lift the knees. And draw down, elegant, graceful. Like a deer, like a gazelle. Inhale, one more. Exhale. Come back down. Yes, side plank to the right. Pivot the left shin out, extend out through the right leg. As you open the hip, you'll spin the right foot down to the sky. You'll reach the right arm up to the sky with the palm facing out. Roll the shoulders down, shoulders back, head back, tailbone towards that right heel. Turn the palm towards the top of your head and reach the arm up and over the head if you'd like to get a little bit more extension in there. Yes. Breathe. And spin the heart up towards the beautiful sky. 
back of the skull in alignment with the back of the pelvis. And you're pushing the pelvis in ever so slightly and lifting the pubic bone so that the navel naturally finds its way a little closer to the spine. Breathe in. Breathe in. Good. Let's bring it all the way back up. Gate pose, slide the right hand down. Left hand reaches over, a little side bend here. Exhale, we come back down. We spin both palms down. Lift the right leg up. Right leg out to the right. Lift and spread the toes, drop it down. Get the whole sole of the foot onto the floor. Nice inner thigh stretch, yes? Tuck the toes under, nice sole of the left foot stretch. Hip back down towards the heel. Oh, this might be just the spot. You might humbly bow the ribs. Walk the hands a little forward, tenting the fingers. Now wider than your shoulders so that the heart has room. Pat for the surrender as she melts down towards the earth. Drop your head, chin to the chest ever so slightly, tailbone back, breathe in, let the back of the lungs find some beautiful open blue sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Thigh bone back on the right side, inner and outer knee back. Feel the heel, inner edge of the right heel, yeah? Mm-hmm. Come on back up, place the hands underneath your shoulders. Take it for a twist, right arm up to the right. Just sort of bend that left elbow and swoop under, shape of the twist. Big breath in, shoulder blades slide down the back body. You can really press through that left hand, press through the back of the right arm, getting more and more length in the spine with each and every breath. Good. Press, lift, open, breathe, enjoy, and come on down. Slide the right knee back in. Now, walk the hands about a handprint forward. Tuck your toes under. Yeah, down dog. Hips up and back. Come high up on the tippy toes. Find tippy toe, downward facing dog first and really straighten the arms and press the hands into the earth. Feel the inner wrists. Trace that line to the outer wrists. Elbows are nice and straight. The shoulders are back and down. Little bit of navel to the spine and higher up on the toes and now press the thigh bones back, the inner and outer knees back. Lift the fronts of the thighs and then drop the heels down towards the earth at the same time finding that big, beautiful, downward facing dog. Drop your head, shake it out. Breathe, lift the belly, lift the front of the thighs, press the bones of the legs back, the bones of the feet down, the bones of the hand down, a little external rotation of the upper arm bones, and the elbows are nice and straight. Breathe in, breathe out, great, gaze forward. Walk your feet forward to your hands. Fold over your legs, dangling forward, fold Uttanasana, drop your head, shake it out again. Bend one knee into the other. Back to center, chin to chest, roll your way all the way up to Tadasana. Reach the arms up and over your head. I'm gonna step back so you can see me. Arms up and over the head. Exhale. Hands find their way right at the heart center. Let's do a little knock, 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 knock. Who's there? <laughs> and then find stillness in Tadasana. Lift and spread the toes. Drop the toes back down onto the earth. Drop the inner and outer thighs. 
Press the thigh bones back. Lift the belly, lift the heart. Shoulders back and down. Head balanced right there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Namaste.